Welcome to Next Studio. This video shows how to create the demo project basic concept demo with Next Studio. The ready to use project can also be downloaded from our homepage. At first we create a new solution. Confirm the dialog with finish. Open the system within the project node in the solution overview with a double click. This is our start point. A project can include various kinds of function blocks. In our demo project we use basic and cat. To get these function blocks just export them from the ready to use basic concept demo on our homepage. The right click on basic to import the basic function blocks. Select the function blocks to be imported and confirm the dialog. I right click on CAT to import this type of function blocks. And the same procedure. We create a new canvas for the HMI in the resolution 800 to 600. Confirm the dialog, create a new canvas and enter a name for the canvas. Change back to system now. Rename the existing device if desired. and create a second device, because we want to distribute our project. Double click on the device to open it and create a resource within. Change to application view to create the logic. Drag the cats into the application and enter a name. the connections between the function blocks. At first the event connections, then the data connections. You can adjust the lines if you want to. And enter the required constants by a right click on the particular interface. Cylinder and switches for the second device are equal, so we can copy the first one. Select the elements and drag them with pressed control key. Draw the missing connections to the control element and save. We have to assign the parts of our application to the appropriate device now. To do so, change to one of the devices and map the relevant function blocks by drag and drop. We do the same for the second device and save. Switch to canvas cylinder. We can find the HMI symbols of the cats in NodeCat instances. They are created automatically, but to get them ready for use we have to click on Build Solution. Create the HMI symbols by dragging the respective CAD instances into the canvas.
first the cylinder, then the switches, and the control element. And move them to the side position. Create some elements for the individual design of our HMI. And adjust them according to your requirements. Use Ctrl C to copy elements and insert them with Ctrl B. In our demo we use pipe, text and rounded rectangle. Insert the label name for each cylinder. This name will be displayed in faceplate 2 because the CAD cylinder is programmed that way. Finally, we will insert the rounded rectangle just for better appearance. Bring it to back level and choose a color. We have gained almost the same appearance as the ready to use demo. We change the device list in the system, choose network profile local test and adjust the port settings of the second device. Set the login to yes for both devices and save the settings to get ready for the next step. We start the two soft PLCs. Then the advanced deploy dialog. Be sure to have both devices selected and click deploy. Finally we start the test HMI. We can open the face plates to show the trend view for each cylinder with two clicks. Moving the joystick causes the cylinder to work. The two face plates trend view show the movement of the respective cylinder. Zoom into the view by dragging a rectangle with pressed mouse key from top left to bottom right. Thank you for watching how to use Next Studio Automation software by Next Control. We are looking forward to welcome you at our homepage for another tutorial project. Thanks and goodbye.